Welcome to the National Society of Leadership and Success's Motivational Monday, starting your week off with great ideas and positive learning. Hey there, National Society. Christina, again, in the National Office. Hope you're having an awesome start to your week. Um, I have with me someone for the first time, actually, Dave Kelly, who is America's student leadership trainer, and his focus is really with working on with students. He's been doing it for over 20 years, so I think he's got a little experience there to back up what he says. And today he's going to tell us about the value of a positive attitude. So, Dave, thanks so much for being here. It's great to be here, and uh, to the society members, you are doing such great work, and I uh, applaud you for your focus on developing leadership, uh, both in your, yourself and on your campus and in your community. And one of the things that I think really helps us with that is the way that we approach life, uh, the, the value of, of thinking positively, you know, and even more than just that, that type of a phrase, but how does that really work in our lives? You know, so many times in the morning, uh, how many of us uh, get up in the morning and we drag ourselves over to the vanity? It's just, oh, oh, oh. And then we get there, and as we look in the mirror, we, ah! And then until we realize it's just us looking back at ourselves. And then we spend the next 15 minutes, half hour, hour, primping and pulling and poking and prodding and shaving and trying to make ourselves look different than we really are. You know, we're spending that time really criticizing ourselves to ourselves right in the mirror. How does that get us off to a good day? And then we leave our house, and we have to go out into the world, and we have to face our enemies. You might call them family or friends. And these are people who you know who are constantly telling you that you can't achieve your goals, you can't do the things that you want to in life, that you shouldn't be pursuing these things. Why are you going to college? No one in our family has ever graduated. Why do you think you can do this? Don't start a business. You'll only fail. And it's because there is so much negativity in the world. You know, 90% of the input that comes into your brain on a daily basis is negative. Only 10% is positive. Some of that, as I mentioned, we put there ourselves. The other comes from the people around us. And then so much of it is just the messages around us. I want to encourage you to start your day out and have every day be living through a way of a, a positive way of life. It's the difference when you wake up in the morning of, of looking up and spreading your arms and saying, good morning, Lord, or instead it's waking up and slapping your forehead and saying, good Lord, it's morning. And it's that idea of going out and believing that you can be successful in the things that you want to do. Because if you're not, no one else will. No one else will believe in that and believe in you. The positive attitude that you can create in yourself will, will be spread to other people, and they will believe in, in what you were saying, too. You know, the laws of attraction say that we... We send out to the universe ideas and thoughts, and it sends back to us what we, what we send out to it. Uh, I think what happens is when we send out positivity, our brains are so excited to want to try and make it happen because it's new and it's different that it becomes real in our lives. You visualize yourself in possession of things that you want to have, and you make that happen. A way to do that, some steps you can take, a very important one is to create affirmations for yourself. On a daily basis, I have about 25 affirmations that I tell to myself. I am a successful professional speaker. I am a great father. I am a super husband. I am in excellent physical condition. Now, if you've seen me live, you know that the last one may be a bit of a stretch, but that's because I'm claiming victory over something that hasn't happened yet, but that I want to make happen. See, I was telling people I was a successful professional speaker for four years before I ever even started promoting myself. But I made that happen because I convinced myself that I was going to be a professional speaker by claiming it as if it existed now. So I want to suggest that you sit down and write however many statements that you need in different areas of your life that you can recite to yourself. And then I want to suggest that you do it every day about six times a day. Why? Well, studies have shown that if you repeat things to yourself over and over on a, ba a basis of six times a day, that within a period of time, they will become real in your life, and you will believe them without even having to say them. Now, my 25 take me maybe a minute and a half to be able to say on a daily basis. I do it when I'm, I'm looking in the mirror. I do it when I go down to my office. Hey, how about if somebody cuts you off in traffic? Don't lose your temper. Don't uh, give them a gesture. Instead, look at them and say, I am a successful professional speaker, and, and your other affirmations. 
and you will find that you will be living much more positively because you will be moving towards your goals, your dreams, and the things that you want in your life. I've enjoyed having this time to speak with you, National Society, and continue to do the great work that you're doing. Christina, back to you. Great, Dave. Thank you so much for being here and talking to us about that today. Um, and everybody, I know affirmations, a lot of people in our office do them, and they can be so, so helpful in helping you to maintain that valuable, positive attitude. For more info about Dave, um, if you want to hear him speak live at your campus and just a little bit more about what he does, check out his website. It's gonzospeaks.com. So help us, hope this has been helpful for you. As always, have a powerful week. To access more Motivational Monday content, visit the members area of leadershipsociety.com.